at a classic problem which is the variance of some more difference of two random variables. So we look at it a little more general. Suppose I define z to be ax plus by. Then we try to find the variance for uh, ax plus by. So the mean of uh, z is, uh, you can see, a multiplied by mean of x from here. Uh, plus b multiplied by expected value of y mean of y. So that's this. So the definition for variance is z minus mu z the whole squared expected value. I plug in for uh, z and uh, mu z. So it will be a <coughs> multiplied by x minus mu x uh, plus b multiplied by y minus mu y squared. You get to three terms. The first term is a squared sigma x squared. Second term is 2ab multiplied by expected value of x minus mu x multiplied by y minus mu y the whole square. But that's the covariance between x and y. As you know, the covariance you can express in terms of the correlation coefficient. And that's going to be, so this is uh, rho x, uh, rho multiplied by sigma x, sigma y, plus b squared multiplied by the variance of y. So here is the answer. Variance of ax plus by is a squared sigma x squared plus 2ab rho xy sigma x sigma y plus b squared sigma y squared. So of course if a and b are a 1 or plus minus 1, here we get the answer to be be sigma x squared plus sigma y squared. <coughs> so a b so a b could be so it is uh, plus minus one because a and b could be plus one or minus one depending on a and b. Rho x y sigma x sigma y. Now an interesting special case is suppose x and y are uncorrelated. Remember uncorrelated Uncorrelated means uh, rho is zero. So that means rho x y is zero. So if you put rho x y equal to zero, you get that variance of x or x plus y or x minus y is simply variance of x or uh, plus variance of y. So the interesting thing is some more difference of two random variables which are uncorrelated. Their way, uh, its variance is the sum of the variances of x and y. <coughs>